Canada used to be ranked as one of the freest and most progressive countries in the world, but we are now 59th on the Global Rights to Information rankings and falling fast. Between Bill C-51, our threatened right to know and a lack of protections for whistleblowers and freelancers, it's safe to say that a lot of work needs to be done to restore our free expression rights. That's why Canada needs CJFE, and CJFE needs you. Our cause has never been more relevant, as we've never been better positioned to fight for Canadians' right to free expression. Our Journalists in Distress Fund was very active in 2015. The budget was doubled and we provided emergency aid to over a dozen threatened journalists around the world. But with the climate for media workers becoming increasingly dangerous, the number of journalists who needed help also doubled, meaning there were still many we couldn't tell. We fought for free expression on our own soil. Our Fly and Blind conference and campaign for access to information reform brought the problems plaguing our right to know and what we can do to fix it into the spotlight. We successfully lobbied for Ontario's anti-slap bill, which strengthened our right to speak freely by preventing large corporations from launching frivolous lawsuits against journalists, activists, and concerned citizens. In March, we helped put the muzzling of scientists on the national agenda, a policy our new government is working to revise. In September, we launched the first Bob Cartsey Fellowship with an initiative aimed at better connecting journalists and Indigenous communities in Canada. And then there was Bill C-51. It made privacy and free expression front page news in Canada for all the wrong reasons. So we partnered with the Canadian Civil Liberties Association to launch a charter challenge against the bill, which was funded by Canadians across the country. Now we're going to work with our new government to ensure the bill ceases to harm the free expression rights of journalists and everyday Canadians. 2015 was also the year the public started to become more aware and more involved in free expression issues. Our website saw a 300% increase in traffic, an amount that continues to climb as we redesign it. This led to an increase in our once small membership by 650%, which we will grow even more in coming years. This growth helped us start new projects, such as the Snowden Archive, a complete online collection of every published document leaked by Edward Snowden. This has been one of our largest initiatives to date, gaining hundreds of thousands of users around the world. And we kicked it off with a live video conference with Snowden himself. Finally, in 2015, we celebrated one of our greatest victories, when after nearly two years of non-stop campaigning, Canadian journalist Mohamed Fahmy was pardoned by the Egyptian government and returned to Canada. 2015 was a year of enormous success for CJFE, but it was also a year of unprecedented threats to your rights. That's why CJFE's cause is more important than ever. Even with a new administration, change is hard to realize once rights have eroded. Our task is to ensure those rights are restored and to continue holding our government to account. That's why Canada needs CJFE. CJFE is still striving to reach our full potential and build our ability to defend and protect your rights. We need more voices, more members, and more capacity. That's why CJFE needs you.